Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna unbox, test, and give a full review of the Boya BYCM1 desktop USB microphone and the Boya Sound app. And whether you're an aspiring podcaster, a content creator, or just someone looking to upgrade your work from home setup, this microphone might be just what you need. Now, real quick, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you found me. Here you're gonna find step-by-step -step tutorials and product reviews aim to help you become a full-time digital creator. And if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all the web and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. And with that being said, let's take a closer look at the Boya BY-CM1 USB desktop microphone. All right, so here are some feature highlights of the Boya BY-CM1 USB microphone, which I should point out that I'll be using throughout this entire video so that you can get a better idea of the overall sound quality. Okay, first, Boya states that the mic uses a sound card level DSP chip, which stands for digital signal processing, giving you studio grade acoustics. Next is the 9.7 millimeter mic, super small, making it ideal for travel or on the go situations. There's also noise reduction and low latency features, which we'll cover a little later on in the video. Additionally, no driver or batteries are required. Simply plug and play with the USB-C cable that comes with the mic, and it's compatible with most PC and Apple devices. Finally, the mic itself is adjustable, uses 16-bit 48 kilohertz audio, which can be reconfigured with the Boya Sound app that also comes with the mic, and has a one-touch mute and noise cancellation button that gives you complete control over your mic's audio. So that's a quick snapshot of the mic's features, but next, let's unbox it and take a closer look at what it has to offer. First off, I wanna thank Boya for sending me the BYCM1 desktop USB microphone. I'm new to their products, so I was excited to test it out. Plus, this is the first desktop mic designed like this that I've ever used. So let's unbox it and see what it can do. Now, one thing I don't normally comment on is a product's packaging, but I have to say that I really liked how this mic came packaged. Super efficient and easy to open. All right, taking a closer look at the contents of the box. First, we have the BYCM1 mic and stand. It comes pre-assembled, which is nice. Next, we have the USB-A to USB-C cable. And depending on your computer's ports, you may need an adapter, and we'll discuss that in just a bit. Next is the user manual, and we're gonna cover pretty much everything in here, but it never hurts to read this before using your mic. Finally, you get a two-year warranty card. This provides you with a two-year warranty under normal use from the date you purchased the mic. Pretty cool. Then one thing that isn't in the box, but on it rather, is the Boya Sound app. You can access it on your mobile device with this QR code, or you can download the app on your desktop, which we'll be doing a little later on. But either way, this is a free app to help enhance your recordings if you don't have a DAW on your computer. Okay, so that's what comes in the box. The Boya BYCM1 is by far the slimmest and most space efficient mic I've ever used. And from what I can tell, it's good build quality, has a solid feel to it, offers plug and play features, and the cable is a decent length. But next, let me show you how to connect this mic to a computer so that you can literally plug it in and start using it. Okay, first I'm using a MacBook Pro with the Boya Sound app as my DAW. However, you can record audio with GarageBand, Audacity, Ableton Live, etc. I should point out that you don't need a DAW if you aren't recording audio. If you plan to just use this mic for streaming or video conferencing, then the mic, the cable, and a computer are all you need. Next, we have the BYCM1 desktop USB microphone. Then I'm using the cable that came with the mic, which is a USB-A to USB-C cable. However, my MacBook Pro doesn't have a USB-A port, so I'm using an adapter that I got on Amazon for about $20. And I'll link to that in the video description below, but this will allow me to use the cable that came with the mic when connecting to my MacBook Pro. And speaking of that, next, let me walk you through the setup process. So first things first, you'll connect the USB-C side of the cable to the audio port located on the back of the mic stand, like so. Next, I've connected the adapter to the USB-A side of the cable so that it can connect to a USB-C port. 
and all you'll do is plug it into one of the Mac C ports. Then once connected, you should see the red status indicator light up around the mic. And by default, it should be a static red, meaning that the mic is unmuted and ready to use. And speaking of that, let's go over the different modes and status indicators. So first, to mute the mic, simply click the button located on the bottom of the stand once. And when you do that, the red light indicator will begin blinking. The blinking red means the mic is muted. Then clicking the button one time again will unmute the mic. And when you do that, the status indicator will go back to the static red light. Next is the noise cancellation mode. This time you'll press and hold the button down for three solid seconds. And while holding it, the status indicator will blink one time. It's kind of hard to see, but just keep an eye out for that quick blink and you'll be able to enable the noise cancellation feature that helps reduce unwanted background noise. Then to turn the noise cancellation mode off, hold the button again for three solid seconds, and then the status indicator will be a quick blink two times. Then the final feature of the mic is the angle adjusting joint. Simply move the mic itself up or down to adjust the mic to your desired angle. Moving on next, let's test the sound quality of the Boya BY-CM1 mic so that you can get a better idea of how it performs. So here we have the Boya BY-CM1 desktop USB microphone. And the first thing that stuck out to me when I first started using it was the design. Super slim, lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of space on my desk, which is nice. And I think this is an ideal mic for video conferencing, streaming, or anyone traveling and on the go. Next, the quality of sound that you get from this mic is pretty good. Sure, it's not professional studio quality, but it's far better than any mic that comes with a laptop. Plus, the cardioid polar pattern in noise cancellation helps increase the sound quality and block out background noise. For example, I'm currently using the noise cancellation feature on the mic, but let me turn it off really quick and add a fan behind me so that you can get an idea of how it works. Okay, so I just turned off the noise cancellation feature of the mic. I also set up this desk fan behind me. It's currently on and it's blowing. My cat is running around somewhere. I hear a little bell and also the air conditioning in my house just came on. So we have a lot of background noise going on, but really quick, let me turn the noise cancellation feature back on so you can see the difference. There we go. We got the one blink and noise cancellation is on. And check that out, not bad for a $25 mic. It does a great job at blocking out unwanted noise. And I have to say, again, for $25, this noise cancellation is just the same or if not better than some of my more expensive mics. Next, since this is a USB mic, it's basically plug and play, lets you connect directly to a computer without any driver, battery, or audio interface. And you can literally take this mic anywhere. And as long as you have a computer and the cable, you can increase your quality of sound and even record audio on the go. And finally, you can't beat the price of this mic. It's only $25 and you can order it on Boya's Amazon store. They have a ton of great reviews and after testing and using this mic, I would highly recommend it for video conferencing, streaming, or any other content that requires audio if you're on a budget. You'll improve your sound and present yourself in a much more professional manner with this little mic. Okay, moving on. Next, let's go over how to install and configure the Boya Sound app. So for this particular example, I'm gonna be using the free Boya Sound app as my DAW. And if you're new to DAW, spelled D-A-W, it's an acronym that stands for Digital Audio Workstation and is software used for recording, editing, and producing audio files. And I typically use GarageBand as my DAW, but since we're using the Boya mic, I figured we'd test out the Boya Sound app to see what it has to offer. Now, I'm using this on my desktop, but they do have a mobile version. However, I tend to do most of my audio recording on my desktop, so that's why I'm using the desktop app in this video. Additionally, I'm using a MacBook Pro, so if you're using a PC, the steps to access and configure the app may be different than what you're gonna see in this video, just FYI. Okay, so we're currently at my desktop, and in order to download the app, go ahead and open the App Store. Then from here, search for Boya Sound. And there it is, should be the first one. So let's go ahead and download it by clicking that cloud icon. 
And after a few seconds, the app is ready to use and open. So click the open button. And then you may get a little onboarding screen. Go ahead and click the start button and then give the app permission to access your mic. And then this will take you to the app interface. It's pretty clean and straightforward, which I appreciate. But one thing I do want to point out is that even though I gave the app permission to use my Boya mic, it's still using the MacBook Pro mic. So if you see the laptop mic here, you'll need to update your sound settings in your system preferences. So let's open the system preferences. and then find the sound icon. Then make sure you select the input tab and also make sure you have the BYCM1 selected. And there we go. Then let's close this out. And then you'll probably need to restart the app. So let's close it out really quick and then reopen it. And there we go. The Boya sound app is now using the correct mic as it's listed here. Next, let's go over some of the audio settings that you can configure within the app. So if you click this little gear icon in the upper left corner of the app, you'll be able to access the audio parameters, audio operation, and audio effects. The audio parameters let you configure the sample rate, bit depth, and audio format, giving you a lot of control over the parameters of your recordings. Next, the audio operation lets you configure the input, channel, monitor settings, and even add speech recognition for real-time subtitles. Pretty cool. And finally, we have the audio effects. This is where you can enhance your vocals, add low-cut filters to remove unwanted low frequencies, and then noise reduce that helps reduce background noise. Then to start recording, it's pretty straightforward. Just click this little mic icon and begin speaking into the mic. You'll see the timer start as well as the spectrogram of your audio. Then when you're ready to stop, click the pause button and then you can continue recording by clicking the mic button again. But if you're finished, click the blue check mark. This will save the audio recording to your library, which you can then access by clicking the file icon located in the upper left corner of the app. And we only have one recording, but this is where all of the recordings you've made on the app will be listed and stored. And clicking on the file will open the playback you can listen and review your recordings right here within the app. Then to share, delete, or save the audio file, simply click that three dot icon in the upper right corner of the app and you can easily download the file to your computer. So with that being said, after testing and using the Boya BY-CM1 desktop USB microphone and the Boya sound app, I have to say that for the price, it's a great video conferencing and streaming mic. If you're a business professional on the go that wants to upgrade the quality of your sound in meetings, or if you're a streamer or podcaster on a budget, then you can't go wrong with this mic. It packs a lot of punch in its sleek and slim design, and the plug and play feature makes it ideal for anyone on the go. So I'd personally use this for Zoom meetings and conference calls, or even if I'm streaming, and I have no problem recommending it to my audience. So swing by the Boya Amazon store to check it out, and I hope you found this review helpful. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're thinking about starting a blog, you got to check out my step-by-step -step tutorials. They'll show you everything you need to know in order to build, grow, and monetize a professional WordPress blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.